This was the US president's time to make a point, and it was that 2014 is the year of action. Walking into the House of Representatives, he made clear his independence from Congress. And I'm eager to work with all of you. But America does not stand still, and neither will I. So wherever and whenever I can take steps without legislation to expand opportunity for more American families, that's what I'm going to do. A move unlikely to soften relations between the Democratic president and Republicans. This State of the Union address was mainly about domestic economic inequality. The federal minimum wage is worth about 20 percent less than it was when Ronald Reagan first stood here. And Tom Harkin and George Miller have a bill to fix that by lifting the minimum wage to $10.10. .10. It's easy to remember, 10-10. Say yes. Give America a raise. This Congress needs to restore the unemployment insurance you just let expire for 1.6 million people. Give every woman the opportunity she deserves, because I believe when women succeed, America succeeds. I intend to keep trying, with or without Congress, to help stop more tragedies from visiting innocent Americans in our movie theaters and our shopping malls or schools like Sandy Hook. On foreign issues, the president said he would veto any bill containing more sanctions against Iran and said 2014 was the year the controversial Guantanamo Bay prison would close. Because we counter terrorism not just through intelligence and military actions, but by remaining true to our constitutional ideals and setting an example for the rest of the world. Obama's rhetoric was high-flying, and he promised that U.S. troops would be out of Afghanistan by the end of the year. For him, 2014 may be labelled the year of action, but will his actions speak louder than words?